fellow farm mall brothers and sisters well I just want to show you a new purchase I just made today I believe it's a 55 um, it's either 55 56 um, it's a farm all 300 utility couldn't beat the price on it it's been sitting here for many years um, might have to do an engine rebuild on it but just want to give you a quick walk around and show you what's uh, gonna be coming home in another week or two it's got some work gonna have to do some stuff to it the uh, the one rims messed up on the one side um, it's been sitting here for quite a while you know muffler busted no big deal it may be freed up you know he said he actually uh, drove it in here and he parked it um, it had it got a puncture in the oil pan at one time and it started to run out of oil he caught it and then filled it up full of Lucas <coughs> and then um, you know just after that he just parked it and that was it so obviously once this thing gets back to the house we're gonna give it a go going over so that's it for the video today actually you know what before I do he's got a few things here too he's got a backhoe that actually attaches to the 300 because believe it or not I don't know if you've noticed there's another one sitting right there he actually just sold this one um, somebody he who knew him he sold it to this one's got a front loader on it but you can actually see there it is, another 300. So, this one already has a new home, so we are taking the other one home with us. I'd like to got both of them if possible, but I look at it this way. This one right here, got the three point on it. So, it's gonna be a nice little tractor to have. Looking forward to the rebuild on this. So, make sure you guys stay tuned, hit that, hit that notification bell. So that way you uh, can get alerts when I start doing the work on this and we bring it home because obviously it's going to be, will it start? So other than that, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. It's always greatly appreciated. And um, until next time. Hello, my friends. All right, so we got it here without an issue. I'll tell you one thing, <clears throat> this rim over here barely made it. <laughs> I had to do a, <coughs> a poor man's fix. <laughs> yeah, you see that rim? That rim is done, that rim is rusted. So, well, that side finally just let loose, but I had to ratchet strap it through here because it was so rusted just to hold it to the rim to get this thing loaded and unload it. But you know what? It made it to its destination. So now I can break it apart and redo it. But whew, that was close. Anyway, other than that, here is our 1955 Farmall 300 utility. Um, it's been sitting for about eight years now. Um, so obviously, I'm going to go through it top to bottom like usual and see if we can, so, <coughs> I guess, first get the motor to spin. I haven't checked it yet got it for 400 bucks so obviously i wasn't really sweating it even if i had to rebuild the motor so be it um he's had antifreeze on it so i know the block's not cracked anywhere um but it's gonna literally have to be going through i'm gonna have to pull the shifter plate off see what's going on it's a little little snug up in here as you can see yeah, it's a little tight so we're gonna go through it um i haven't really gone through or checked a single thing on it um again price is right it was sitting for a long time about eight years I saw it on the side of the road the other day. I stopped and asked the gentleman if he'd sell it. He said he would. Um, we agreed on a price. 
saw one today to go pick it up. But anyway, so this was just a video just to show what followed me home. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and um, I guess now next few videos, we're going to be working on a 300 utility. So make sure you hit that notification bell um, so that way you get notified when we start working on it. And make sure you don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and hit that notification bell if you want to see this one along with the uh, the work that was done on the A and this one, you know, along with the H. And, you know, obviously the uh, collection is going to keep growing. <laughs> so anyway, so here I'll just do a quick little walk around, kind of show everything on it. Now the other one he had um, has the original backhoe on it. It has the original front plow on it that actually came with the tractor when the tractor was ordered new. If uh, it didn't have the PTO obviously on the back because it has the seat and everything all the setup for the hydraulics and all for um, for that backhoe. This one here obviously has the two point you know fast hitch and everything, but it's very easy to make it a three point. All you do is put the link in, and then you put your brackets in there. There, boom, done three point with the PTO. So it's pretty cool. Um, I would like to get a hold of that other one with the original backhoe and everything on it. It's actually uh, pretty cool. So I guess we'll see in the future. I just know those um, those backhoes on those things, boy, they're a hunk of weight. Uh, I guess this grill here is really going to push my skills to see how much I can straighten it. That's uh, that's pretty bad. I may have to try to find a grill out there for a 300 utility. So if any of you, uh, my farm wall friends out there, have the skinny on a grill uh, face for this thing, please shoot me a link or shoot me a message or uh, email me or something at seven valleys farm malls at gmail.com if you could shoot me uh some kind of info i'd love to get unfortunately a replacement grill for the front of this because yeah I, I don't i don't know I, I my skills were okay but i don't know if they're gonna be this good <laughs> everything else i can work with i can get the hood straightened out and i can weld this and get the things out and all that stuff but yeah even that's got a pretty good hit i don't know if anybody's got any info on anything as far as uh maybe the top of the uh grill um the hood and then just the face shoot me a message let me know i'd like to get it from you other than that that's it for today um hope you enjoyed the video and there's gonna be a lot more where this came from you guys have a good day